Well, we're going to head out to Mount Royal University. Mike Yanni hanging out with the Killarney Synchronized Swimming Club. And Mike, I, last segment I saw you try to do the splits in the water. Uh, it was called a blossom. A blossom. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Yeah. Incorrect term. I, yes. I didn't quite blossom as you saw. In fact, uh, the judges right away when I got out of the water, they said, you didn't point your toes. Fail. That's apparently a key role in, in the blossom is pointing your toes. Oh, look at this. I'm joined by two Olympians, uh, Joanie and, oh, I knew I was going to say, Elise. Thanks for joining us this morning. And you brought hardware. Look at you guys. You brought your medals. Your medals. <laughs> wow. Now, Olympian, you guys play an important role in this program here. Tell us, yeah. tell us about the mentorship program. Well, it's pretty much sharing experience with young athletes, all the knowledge, all the skills that we build during your career and the Olympic experience, sharing that with as many Canadian athletes as possible to help them reach their potential and know a bit more what it's like to swim at that level. And because it is quite an experience going to the, to the Olympics. Yeah, definitely. We've been training for so long, so in the mean, about like uh, 18 years each. So just sharing all that knowledge. We went through the whole national program and did so many years of international competition. So just bringing a little bit of that in the everyday training of, uh, of those girls, I think, was just uh, great to uh, share all of that experience with them. Now, you just spent uh, about four days with some of the members of the Clarny Synchronized Swim Club. And actually, on this side of me, we have two of those members, Megan and Kayla. Uh, what was that like, being able to chat with these, uh, these two ladies here? It was pretty fun. Like we gotta like experience new things, and it's pretty neat learning about what what it's like to be in the Olympics. How about just even technique, Kayla? Uh, I'm sure you know they've been swimming. You've been swimming for quite a few years yourself, but there's always something you can learn. Yeah, they taught us some new techniques that really were helpful that like we never knew before. So now we can do things that we couldn't before. Give me an example. What's one thing that you learned? Just like a new skull. So when we're upside down doing like figures. She taught us like a new skull where we, it's just easier to go slow. So things are already easier for you guys. Now, before we went to commercial break, some of the girls in the water were telling me that, oh, you have to have your toenails cut short and you can't have nail polish. You guys have been in enough competitions, you know why that is. Maybe explain to everyone at home why, why you, ha you can't have any nail polish. Um, nail polish, pretty much, it's a rule, so everybody looks the same, doesn't give you that edge. I don't know what kind of edge you would give you to have a nice no bling. polish. No, no bling, that's it. And uh, cutting your toenails is just because we swim so close to each other that there would be many cuts otherwise. Many cuts. Yeah. Apparently, synchronized swimming is a contact sport, so they said there's lots of bruises on the legs, lots of cuts. It happens, you guys. It happens. No bling, so Andy couldn't do it because he wears a toe ring and he doesn't take it he off. Refuses to take off that jewelry. Sorry to remind everybody about that.